We're marking about one month in our home studios, and perhaps you've noticed over this last month that the piece of artwork behind me is changing nightly. And this one, which is by Cindy Wingo called Donuts, has been the one that has generated the most response from you. I think it's something we can all relate to. So we thought it would be not only fun to improve your view nightly, but also to provide an audience for these artists who, like so many right now during the stay-at-home order, have a product to sell, but their studios are closed. Every canvas is an artist's idea, emotion, or experience. What it means to them might translate to you, and it might not. Or it could move and inspire you. Whatever the impact, we hope to brighten and broaden the images that you see here every day as you stay safe at home. We want to call attention to this beautiful painting. So when you wake up in the morning during sunrise, you'll see Chuck featuring works from artists at the Harrison Center. A lot of these artists really count on foot traffic at some of the galleries in town and also First Fridays, which is one of the great, you know, art festivals every Friday in the United States right here in Indy. They are now issuing temporary permits. About a month ago, I started changing out the art nightly too. First featuring from two talents I know. You see, way back in the day, we went to an art event in Indianapolis with the Swans. Check out our outfits. They're so dated now. But the piece that we bought from Cindy Wingo has proved to be timeless for us, and it's been in our home ever since. Kind of fun having a different piece of artwork. So when I saw that I was going to be working from home, Cindy loaned me eight canvases. And at about the same time, Matt Hurdle of Westfield, he bought over another half dozen of his abstracts. I'm so grateful to both of them. It's April, but it is spring in central Indiana. And, and now late at night, before you go to bed, Angela's artwork will be changing too. So make sure you look over her shoulder to see what art is on display at her house. This is from Shamira Wilson, one of Indy's great young artists. We certainly hope you enjoy these collections. And if you want to invest in their creativity, it could help these small studios with really big talents survive. So we do have a schedule, so you can find the art really easily. It's at 6.15 in the morning with Chuck, 5.15 at night with me, and 11.15 right before you go to bed with Angela. Also, if you want to learn more about these pieces, the sizes, the prices, and more about what the artist had in mind, we have all descriptions for you online at WTHR.com. And, you know, Angela, I got to see a sneak preview of the ones that you're showing this week, and you have a wide range in, in what you're going to be discussing. Uh, I do, and the one this evening has a really great story that I'm excited to share with all of you, and that will be at 11.15, so don't go to bed too early tonight.